based on U.S. and Kenyan intelligence reports, that the embassy here has been targeted for a terrorist attack. Bushnell requests funding to build a more secure embassy. The State Department denies her request. On August 7, 1998, shortly before 10.30 a.m., two men drive a cargo truck packed with TNT. They pull up to the rear gate of the U.S. Embassy. It's the location that Ali Mohammed scouted and photographed for bin Laden five years earlier. The man in the passenger seat jumps out. He tosses a homemade grenade at the Kenyan guards to distract them and runs away. The grenade blast draws dozens of workers inside the embassy to their windows. Ambassador Bushnell is attending a meeting at a bank building just behind the embassy. She too hears the blast. Moments later, the truck driver detonates his cargo of dynamite. The explosion rips into the five-story embassy. Glass shatters in every direction. The back of the building collapses. The blast also demolishes the bank building next door. Ambassador Bushnell narrowly escapes with her life. 213 people die, including 12 Americans. Another 4,000 are wounded. Just minutes later, 450 miles away in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, an identical bomb destroys the U.S. Embassy. The blast kills 11 people and wounds 85 others.